This is the greatest problem solving. I'm a math teacher, and I work with problem solving every day. But there's a lot more to problem solving than two plus two. There's real life problems that they have to solve. They're given a task, and they're given some materials, and they have to do that job with the materials that they've got. And, and it's a great, great, real life problem solving activity. On September 16th, last year, we found out what this robot was supposed to do this year and the makeup of the field on which they had to do the job. It was, the theme this year was high octane. The robot was supposed to make fuel out of various commodities that were placed around the field. It had to gather beach balls, racket balls, tennis balls, tomato paste cans, and a little plastic truck that it had to grab and move around and park in a garage. And if you did all these things in the right combinations, you scored points according to the fuels that were made from these various commodities. And the boys started off on September 16th, even had some of it designed in their minds on the way home in the school bus. And the next day we got up and started work on it. And six weeks later, we had a robot. So we're a very small school. Once again, we have the constraints of a public school, so the kids have to go to classes. The only time they have to work on this robot is after school and on weekends. And all I did was show up on Saturday mornings, open up the door to the shop, and sit there and watch these boys build this robot. And stay after school with them, too. So it's, it's their robot. I like designing the robot the most. That's the most fun part for me. I think most people enjoy driving it the most, but that's not my favorite thing. I've been building things since I was little. Um, I don't know how old I was. I started making boats out of orange juice cartons and <laughs> keep getting more and more complicated. So I want to be a mechanical engineer is my goal in the future. There's not that many schools in this area that compete. Lebanon and Conway are the only two schools in southwest Missouri that I know of that even compete because it takes a lot of time and money and it's just something that hasn't caught on. Maybe this year with the success that Conway's had, maybe some more local schools will get involved. This is fun. You take this robot over to the elementary school and the kids' eyes just light up, you know. Now the thing couldn't be, and I say this to every one of my math classes, okay, you're not gonna have to solve something for X to make a living, but you are gonna have to know something about logic and reasoning and problem solving. And kids understand when they see this kind of thing, they can see why reasoning and logic and, and thinking can get to some place. Uh.